Hello aviators, welcome back to The Finer Points. In this video, I'm going to show you why our four camera student pilot setup is awesome and why that matters to you. And I'm also going to show you an old school skill building exercise which the FAA took out of the ACS but is still good for you to practice. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On The Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back. So you've probably heard me say this, but I believe that in an airplane, especially when you're flying visually, uh, for every problem there's a solution called where you look and when you look there. Um, and you know, I see flight training videos all the time and as, you know, as beautiful as it is to hang a camera off the tail or under a wing or off the fuselage or whatever, um, the reality is you fly the airplane from inside. So often there's not a ton of value with those external shots. What you really want is to figure out exactly where you need to be looking. And so, you know, what we do is we take the seat, we slide it way back, the pilot seat. Uh, we get a camera going forward, a camera going at the left wing, a camera down on the gauges, and a camera over on me so I can kind of teach this, what I affectionately call Jimmy Bobby here, <laughs> um, is my student, a very quiet student. Today I'm going to show you how that works. All of those videos are going into a skills tab, which is getting added into our Ground School app. If you haven't seen the Ground School app, um, it's currently in the store. It covers all the knowledge, all sorts of tips and tricks for me, and all of these videos that you've been seeing on YouTube uh, are really just the tip of the iceberg. Everything else is in ground school or headed there. Um, and you can get a free three-day trial, full feature three-day trial, uh, if you go to learnthefinerpoints.com slash ground school, ground dash school, or just go to learnthefinerpoints.com and tap on ground school. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you today how an old school exercise, uh, it was actually a maneuver on the PTS many, many years ago called Minimum Controllable Airspeed or MCA. I'm going to show you how that works using this rig, where you can be looking and why we do that maneuver to stay safe when we're flying at the lower edge of the envelope. So a couple things about MCA, you're flying along as slow as possible with the stall horn on. So you're just kind of pitching to the stall horn. And one of the things you learn is that you're operating there in the, what we call the region of reverse command right you're flying so slow at such a high angle of attack that if you were to pull back at that point all that's going to happen is the stall horn is going to scream and eventually you would stall you're not going to climb you may even start to go down um, the way you climb when you're flying that slow is to add power and also right rudder and as your instructors what we want to know is that you know where to look in the airplane to get the data you need uh, to know what's happening when you're flying that slow and to maintain control of the airplane um, you may have seen all the videos about the reference I call the Lindbergh reference which is kind of that corner of the forward window you're gonna see how that's very important um, and how we use rudder to sort of control the left turning tendencies of the engine and how we use power to climb and descend. All right, anyway, without any further ado, let's see how Jimmy Bobby does uh, with minimum controllable airspeed. All right, aviators, welcome back. We're here in the practice area and we just finished our uh, clearing turns. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys minimum controllable airspeed, which is like the skill building part of slow flight. This is where we're gonna slow all the way down as slow as we can go. The stall horn will be on and we are going to learn how to manage the airplane at that edge of the envelope, all right? So we've done our clearing turns. Let's go ahead and power back. It doesn't matter where you power back to, but I like to go to idle just so this whole thing happens fast. And then you'll see me trading angle of attack and airspeed and holding altitude, right? So I just go up in angle of attack. I'm like Indiana Jones swapping the bag for the idle. I swap speed for angle of attack until I get all the way down to the stall horn. There it is. There it is, good. And I try to relax. So I'm in trim. I want to be very, very comfortable. I don't want to be fighting the airplane. I want a nice light grip. I really want to be able to fly the whole airplane with my right foot. Um, you can't see anything forward, right? I'm hoping not. The, it is blue forward. So use your Lindbergh reference. Remember, Charles Lindbergh flew with bags of mail in front of him and he, he couldn't see forward right so he had to use the horizon where it hits the side of the bag of mail um turns out that's a fantastic reference he probably wasn't the only one but when it came time to get rid of a window on the spirit of st louis he got rid of the front window 
Anyway, this is just follow the horizon. That's where it goes. This is your Lindbergh reference, okay? Remember, if you have to turn, the bank angles are going to be very shallow because you're right there. You're in the region of reverse command. I mean, any more pull, you don't go up, right? <laughs> if I pull any more, I'm going to stall. So uh, you have to add power and use shallow bank angles when you turn. Very little aileron, very gentle on the rudder. You're mostly just pushing right rudder to counteract the left turning tendencies or letting up on the right rudder to turn left like that, right? Excellent. So that's minimum controllable airspeed. And then to recover, you're going to, the only way to get out of this because you're in that region of reverse command is to sort of fly out of it, right? Add power, reduce angle of attack, and here it goes. Add power, reduce angle of attack, and now you're Indiana Jones in the other direction trading the idle back for the bag of sand, pushing forward as the airplane accelerates, you are trading speed and angle of attack to keep your altitude constant. All right, good, and when maneuvers are done, remember we are going to go through a flow check, 235, 235, pressure, temperature, vacuum, amps, fuel flow, lights, mixture, fuel, and bottle mixture, flight, engine. Okay, checklist complete. So that's how the maneuvers performed and there are a few common errors that I see. They are definitely common errors. I see almost everybody do the, uh, a couple things. I wanna make sure you're not doing those things. So let's go through that. This is a common error in minimum controllable airspeed. Watch what happens when I don't use enough rudder. You guys see that? I'm sort of flying sideways. Watch this, I'll center the ball. Good, and then watch it again. See that? Kinda crazy. That's one of the common errors, but by far, the very, the most common error in, in minimum controllable airspeed or slow flight is this, is an extremely small descent. Do that, how it's like 25 feet per minute, 50 feet per minute. If I was your examiner and I saw that, I would just kill time. Just to see if, how, you know, are you gonna lose 500 feet if I just tell you a story about my childhood, right? Like, I don't know if you're aware of it, right? So. Uh, most people aren't. Let me try to recreate it. I've got too high a power setting. There it is. Okay, so stall horn on there. Something like that, right? That's that's very common. I'll give you a little more RPM. There it is. So we're, you know, in MCA, stall horn on, but we're going down. So what I want you to practice then when you're doing MCA is to practice flying with the stall horn on and using power to climb. So now, give me a power setting. Remember, when power comes in, right rudder comes in, right? But always, the engine's pulling left. So if you add power, you add right rudder. But look at this. If I can do this, if I can climb with the stall horn on like that, where the airplane's actually gaining altitude, then I'll be fine on the check ride, because if I look up and see that I'm you know, falling victim to that death by a thousand cuts common error, then I'll just do this. Um, so I want to be able to climb back up. Once my students can show me that they can climb up with the stall horn on and manage the left turning tendencies of the engine while using the Lindbergh reference, yeah, we're pretty good on this edge of the envelope. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. A huge thanks to Jimmy Bobby for allowing me to share his flight training to the internet. <laughs> a big thanks to the sponsors. Remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. Um, also, you can win a full year access to ground school. Uh, you can do that by filling out a 10 question survey. If your name is drawn, you win a year to ground school, a year of ForeFlight Pro, uh, Mobile Pro, and a Sentry ADSB receiver. It's a 10 question survey, should take two minutes of your time. It's up at learnthefinerpoints.com. Also, a huge thanks to the patrons. Without that support, these videos just wouldn't be possible. Uh, and there's tons of bonus content going to Patreon, including in person or Google anyway, Zoom Hangouts with me. Also, a big thanks to you, the best fans on the internet, for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, share with your friends, and most importantly, until next time, be safe and fly your best.